Okay, so so welcome. I um, I'm going to show you all these really fun, cool notions. These are some of my favorites. These are some new ones on the market. Um, my day job is I work at N Jefferson, and I also love to sew and quilt. So I feel like. My life is all about sewing and quilting. It's just come full circle. And I love to show you all of these here. So Carrie made a big list here. I'm going to kind of go in order so it makes sense. So we'll start here and we'll go over this way. And first of all, what we will do is we'll talk about all the mats here. So right now we have, um, this, is, this isn't new, but it is still a great mat. It's a great first um, if you're going traveling or someone's just starting out to quilt, it's a nice little kit. It comes with a 45 millimeter rotary cutter, a ruler, and a mat, a folding mat, which is like this. So we also have this kit in this size. So the folding mats are really nice because they have the, the uh, wavy edge. And when you open them up, they go flat. And you can actually cut right along these and you're not going to like... Um, sometimes you feel like you skip a stitch or, or skip a, a thread or so that doesn't happen on these. But what's also kind of cool is if you do get the bigger mat, you can just keep it folded in half and have it by your workstation and just use this part. You don't actually have to open it all up if you don't have that big of a space. And that's the same with this one. You can just keep it folded in half if you don't have that big of a space. But these are great kits for, especially for someone getting started or, you know, you do a lot of, of travel. Oh, thank you. And you do a lot of traveling to classes or friends' houses like I do and just have so days. So we have that. Um, this one here is new. This is a, um, the, which one is it? The Ulta mat. And it comes with a rotary cutter here, the 45 millimeter. This is the same design as the splash cutter that you've seen in the nice different colors like the aqua and the pink and the purple. So they've got this in yellow now and it comes with this mat here. So that's also a nice little travel size as well. I love these size mats for travel. And, and then we've got, these are the new colors that Ulfa has come out with. They're gray and yellow. So this is the yellow, which is nice and bright. And then this is the gray. Sometimes people have, are better to, can, see better on different colors so this is why they've come out like this it's a plain back but you can still cut on the back of these mats they are self-healing this one is as you can see skinnier so it's again just for your workstation you just got to cut a little bit or if you you know fold your fabric you just got to cut straight off you can do that this one here and i'll pass this around actually i'll pass two of these around so you can feel because this is a little thicker these are two millimeter, this is three millimeter. And this one they recommend if you have those cutters, like the, um, uh, what am I gonna say? Like those little knife cutters? Exacto knife, exact yeah, like, like those little things. Um, if you want to use those, if you use those a lot, they say to use the three millimeter mat. It is made especially for that. Doesn't mean you can't use this, like if you're just gonna do it on occasion, but um, they do if you're gonna, did you recommend this mat to do it if you do a lot of that sort of stuff? Yeah, absolutely. You can cut on the back of the mats, no problem. They are, they're made with the same material. They just don't have lines. And the other thing that, um, that I should point out is if, so they all have the grid lines, right? And we tend to always cut on the grid lines to make sure measure. But if you are able to cut diagonally now and then, like what I do is if I'm squaring something up, I'll just sort of lay it wonky. Just so that the lines go different all the time. Because if you're going to continue cutting on that one line, you're going to wear a groove in that. It is a self-healing mat, but, you know, it, it only lasts for so long in that one spot, right? So you definitely want to try to, like, change the spots where you're going to continuously cut. And I quite often, like when I'm squaring stuff up, I don't actually need the line. So I'll just line it up against my ruler anywhere along the mat here, and I'll just cut it in a wonky way because I want my mat to stay because to stay healthy because it's gonna it was expensive <laughs> and let's see here so do any of you have any of you used a rotating mat aren't they great for those of you that haven't 
these mats have a little turntable on the back and they stay flat and we like these ones because they got the little grooves and I'm going to actually open this one for you and I'll pass this around so you can see it. Those of you that haven't tried it, you can definitely. I know, right? Like when you, when you go to turn them, the, the square ones, sometimes you're kind of like, Ugh. but these ones are, they, they just perfectly fit the grooves, perfectly fit your fingers. You can grab any spot and turn it. This just stuff. Less space. You know, more space. You have to have a exactly so i'm just gonna hold this in my hand here and okay there you go so it just turns so easily so we were just talking about these turning mats here and there's you can turn them so easily turning mats are amazing because then you don't have to like move your body here or move your body here because sometimes you don't want to like twist right and that's not good for us so i will just Hand those out. You can try them. And then we've got the big one. Yeah. Yeah, this one is a 14-inch one right here. And this one is an 8-inch one. So, honestly, um, I forgot to mention that in your – or actually, just, yeah, so she's got – there's a pre-order one where it says it's one, two, three, four, the fifth one, fourth one down, I believe. It comes with – it's a kit, and it comes with this size mat, which is – somewhere over here it comes with a two and a half by eight inch ruler and a rotary cutting cutter a rotary cutter <laughs> so that is a um that's a kit that will be coming out in december it hasn't arrived yet it will be here soon and uh, you can pre-order that as a kit nice little christmas presents or you can just buy them separately if you already have some of the items now let's talk about well, the next thing is we're going to talk about the replacement blades so the endurance blades have any of you used the endurance blades so there's the regular um opal blades and then there's the endurance blades have any of you ever tried any of the endurance blades no you, people don't know what you're missing these are amazing blades these blades are made with a um special uh, steel and it keeps them twice as sharp for twice as long so this means you use this one it's just a little bit more money but you get your blade will last twice as long and it doesn't cost twice the price of the regular because people make their blades all the time that's the one thing like with sewing machines we need to replace our needle we don't replace the sewing machine right so you actually cut 16 layers of fabric with this with a 45 millimeter blade that's amazing so so there you go so that's how great these blades are these are so so yes no absolutely change your blade i'm so glad that you you said something because yeah you save yourself some money right there but again so like you can buy the regular blades or you can buy the endurance blade this is just a fraction of a bit more money but it lasts you twice as long you cut through huge stacks of fabric <laughs> Well, be precise. <laughs> okay. Yeah. <laughs> um, the next thing, the next one I wanted to talk about is kind of going back to the mats. Is the to clean the self-healing mats? These are hands down the best cleaners. And they are little gum erasers, and you can get them one by one or one by two. And they're like half inch wide, but they are amazing. You literally, this is mine from home, so it's well used. And you literally just, wherever you have cut, if you, like, for instance, you cut minky, or you cut fleece, or you cut fireside, or just or batting, right? You literally just... Like that, whoops, rub it off, it all comes out. So easy, no effort, it's amazing. Hands down, my number one tip. This is one of my favorite tools. As you can see, it's well loved. <laughs> so, and I, so we're gonna talk about rulers now. And I have a fun story to share with you about my ruler. 
I, I actually made a video about it. So I have been quilting for 17 years now, which is a long time. And I was cutting out some fabric and I'm like, why is my fabric like what's going on it I keep like missing threads and and I'm like okay so I changed my blade that's the first thing right change my blade okay it's still not the greatest I don't really know why okay I thought well you know what I, I do need a new mat so you definitely need to replace your mats every now and then too right so replaced my mat I'm like oh yeah that's so nice because I was just cutting with the rotary cutter on it it's so fresh it's so nice and I'm cutting with my ruler and I'm like ah you know I'm still getting these skip things and I don't know why. And then I'm like, let me look at my ruler. So I'm looking at the side of my ruler. There's chunks missing. There's all kinds of cuts and nicks. Totally wasn't even aware. So I went and bought a new ruler and I was like, Whoa! that was the problem. You need to replace your rulers. I've had this ruler for so long that I just figured, oh, it's a ruler. It's it's working. It's great. It's got the measurements. I have no problem. But then I realized, you know, it, it doesn't last forever. So I'm going to pass this one around. So you can see on the cut edge, it's terrible. So definitely, you know, blade is always number one. Your, your mat, you definitely need to keep an eye on as well. But your rulers don't last forever. And like, I've had that one for probably 10 years and I probably should have replaced it. I don't know, maybe five years ago, but we also have these, these ones here and these are from Sullivan's and they are the sharp, what do they call it? The cutting edge rulers. Have you guys heard of the cutting edge rulers? Okay. So these are rulers that have on the side that you cut, what is it here? On the side that you cut. There is like a little, it's, um, what do they call it? A carbon something. What is it? Yeah. Okay. It sharpens your blade as you, as you cut and you can kind of feel that on here. We have these rulers clear and in frosted. So depending on your preference, there's frosted and there's clear and on, one side of the ruler, which is normally your cutting side, they have, I'll put that here, and I'll do that here. So you can actually see, and they come in different sizes as well. So that's the six and a half by six and a half. We've got the six and a half by 12 and a half, and the six and a half by 24, and the 12 and a half by 12 and a half. They're really great rulers. They also keep your, help keep your blade sharp. So these are really amazing rulers as well. Okay. The other thing I wanted to mention is for gift packs or people that are just getting into quilting, these packs are really great. These are the value packs. So you get three different rulers in each pack. This is the rectangle, obviously. This is the square. You get three different sizes. So this one has, where is it here? The six and a half, eight and a half, and ten and a half squares in here. And this one is, it doesn't say, oh, it's covered it up. So it's the six by 12, the one by six, and the four by eight. And so instead of, obviously, because they're they're together, it's a, it's a little less money to buy them in the value pack as opposed to singly. Because sometimes when you're, Sort of getting new you need to starting out in something you need to get you know multiple different sizes and like I don't know what sizes to get so this is good this is also good for you know idea for your husbands if you're trying to or your wives or or your family your sisters your partners your siblings I don't know what to get I would like a value pack please I don't know if you've noticed but on the back there was a coating on it and it's a little bit worn off now, but the coating on it is grippy and grippy is a way to keep your, your ruler. So it stops slipping. Have any of you heard of grippy? It's grippy by Odif. This is it right here. It's a spray. So it's an aerosol spray and I'm going to just use it. 
and show you. So you just spray it. And I'll spray it on half of this ruler so that you can see. So So now you can feel the difference on this side versus this side. And it and you can still see through it really clearly, right? So but it just it holds your it holds against your fabric really well. So I'm going to pass this around again. This grippy is you can use it on any ruler. And if you do want to wash it off, although I don't know why you want to, but if you do want to wash it off, you can. You can use soap and water, which would take a little while, or you can use a thing called DK5, which is another spray, and it just helps to loosen it all off, and then you can do it. But honestly, I, I just keep spraying it and then spraying it again and then spraying it again if I need to. It doesn't wear off super easy, honestly. It, this bottle will last you probably a lifetime. Yes, please spray in a well-ventilated area. The other thing that you can use is Invisigrip. Have you, has anyone heard of this? No. I used to use this before I used Grippy. So half my rulers still have this on it. it. This is literally just a clear vinyl. Let's see if I can get this out here. So this is like just a clear vinyl on a piece of paper. I will show you. And you just would cut it an eighth of an inch shorter than your ruler. And then you just peel it off and it sticks on. This is like, cause it's on, this isn't sticky. Like here, you can feel. Oh, you set it on. Yeah, exactly. Oh, cool. Cool, yeah. So yeah, you just set it on there and it, it will also help prevent the sliding of your ruler. So then we will talk about this. So this is a little ruler holder which is good to have by your cutting mat. I'll put this here because I know sometimes it's hard to see from way over there. It's just like a, you just, oh, I see. yeah, oh, you just oh, rest your ruler in here. So do we have, here we go. So you just like that. This way when you're, because sometimes our cutting area gets really cluttered and we put our fabric down and we forget kind of what's underneath. Like no one's done that before, right? <laughs> So if you always have this, you stick your rulers on there, then you always know where they are. They're not going to get nicked as you're cutting. So exactly. Okay, so we have these little grippers here as well. So sometimes it's hard to hold the rulers when you're cutting. We have these little grippers here. So these ones would be for like the smaller rulers. So for instance, like something like this, you would just put it on. And you just, I'll give, and it's good, it's good for like holding the ruler in place. Yeah, <laughs> yeah exactly. And then there's a, a big one. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So. So for, you would just put it on, on your ruler, press down, push these down, and now it's like, yeah, I'll push, there you go, try that on here. So yeah, those grips are really good for the ruler if you have a hard time holding the rulers, sometimes, you know, putting your pressure on like that or like, you know, arthritis or something, those are really good for, for helping that way. And they come off easy, and you can so just easily take one off one ruler, put it on another. It's no effort.